In this example, I'm going to work out the exact value for the tangent of 36 degrees. And you can see over here on the right side, I have included a few trigonometric identities, and all of them are tangents. So we have the double angle, the triple angle, and this difference identity as well. And interestingly enough, the process that we use to find this exact value for the tangent of 36 degrees will also yield the exact value for the tangent of 72 degrees as well. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start by saying x equals this 36 degrees that we would like to find the tangent for. And since I now have this equation, I can do some properties of equality and some manipulations here. I'm gonna start by multiplying both sides of the equation by five. And when I do that, I'll have five x equals 180. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this 5x and break him up into a 2x plus a 3x to make that 180 degrees. And next, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So what I'm going to have is 3x equals 180 degrees minus 2x. And at this point, I'm going to take one more step and I'm going to take the tangent of both sides of this equation. So what it looks like we have here, we have the triple angle identity for tangent, and then we have a difference identity for tangent as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these identities and expand this equation a little bit here. So this tangent 3x will become 3 tangent x minus tangent cubed x all over that one minus three tangent squared x. And of course that just came from this identity here. And the next one will be this difference identity for tangent. And so that's gonna be this guy. So we're gonna say the tangent of 180 degrees minus the tangent of two x all over one plus the tangent of that 180 degrees times the tangent of 2x. Okay, so we'll immediately see some nice things here because we know the tangent at 180 degrees is, well, zero. So it's gonna cancel this one and this one, which means the multiplication by zero will go away, which means the denominator here is just one. So now we don't even care about the denominator. Okay, so what do we have left? Well, we have this negative tangent of 2x. So we have the opposite of this double angle identity. So let's go ahead and employ this double angle identity. And we're just going to go ahead and put a negative right out front. So let's rewrite this left side. And now I'll go ahead and put this negative 2 tangent x over 1 minus tangent squared x. Okay, so here's where we are right now. I'm going to go ahead and make a substitution at this point just so we don't have to keep writing tangent over and over again. So we're going to say u equals the tangent of x. So remember back from the beginning, x was 36 degrees. So my u is the tangent of 36 degrees. So once I change everything in terms of u and write my nice polynomial equation, when I solve for u, I'll actually be solving for the tangent of 36 degrees. So let's go ahead and make that transition. So we will have 3u minus u cubed all over 1 minus 3u squared equals negative 2u over one minus u squared. Okay, well, looks like we have a nice proportion here. This fraction is equal to this fraction. So let's go ahead and do the cross products. So it looks like we have three u minus u cubed times one minus u squared, and that will equal negative two u times one minus three u squared. Okay, so this is probably going to be the most uh, algebra heavy portion. We just need to multiply all this stuff out and get it on one side of the equation equal to zero. So let's go ahead and do that. So 3u minus 3u cubed, it looks like, minus another u cubed plus u to the fifth 
equals negative 2u plus 6u cubed. And so let's go ahead and bounce these two terms from the right side over to the left. And by doing so, we can just change their signs out front. So u to the fifth, and then cube terms. So minus 3, and minus 1, and minus 6 then when this gets moved over. So it looks like negative 10u cubed. And then we have a 3u and a plus 2u, so that'll give me a 5u. And that equals 0. Okay. Well, let's try factoring this. It looks like all of these terms have a u. So let's go ahead and get that u out of there. So u to the fourth minus 10u squared plus 5. And that'll be what I have left. Of course, this zero property of multiplication allows me to take this factor and this factor and set them each independently equal to zero. Well, u equals zero. That's going to be an extraneous solution. I don't care about that at all, actually. So let's just focus on this u to the fourth minus 10u squared plus 5 equals zero. It looks like it's kind of in a quadratic form. The degrees here are 4, 2, and 0. So I can go ahead and use the quadratic formula on it, but it's going to be u squared that I'm actually solving for right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get my a, b, and c values. So it looks like a is going to be 1 and b is going to be negative 10, and c is going to be 5. All right, so let's plug them into my formula. So it's the opposite of b, plus or minus, b squared minus 4ac, all over twice a. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move this up a little bit so we have some room to work. So it looks like 10 plus or minus. Well, 4 times 5 is 20, so 100 minus 20 will be the square root of 80, which can actually reduce nicely to 4 radical 5 all over 2. And it looks like we can factor and cancel a 2 out of everything, so 5 and 2 and 1. So my u squared ends up being 5 plus or minus 2 radical 5. Well, let's go ahead and do the square root of both sides to get that u all by itself. And so on that right side, the radical and the squared cancel. And of course, I have to put this plus or minus out front. So how do we decide whether this is going to be positive or negative? Well, remember that u is the tangent of 36 degrees, and 36 degrees resides in the first quadrant where tangent is positive. So we'll go ahead and take this positive value and ignore the negative one out there. So we see that u equals the square root of 5 plus or minus 2 radical 5. Well, another interesting situation, what do we do with this plus or minus in here? Well, the tangent of 0 degrees is 0, and the tangent of 45 degrees equals 1. So if we're looking for the tangent of 36 degrees, you know it's going to have to be between 0 and 1. If we use 5 plus 2 radical 5 and do the square root of that, that's going to be bigger than 1. But if we use the minus, then it will be between 0 and 1. So we're going to go ahead and say here that the tangent of 36 degrees is the square root of 5 minus 2 radical 5. And before I get too far, let's go ahead and grab a calculator, and I want to show you that that works out, and then I want to show you one final thing that we can do with this. Okay, so here's my calculator here. And so let's go ahead and do the inverse tangent, and we'll put this ratio in. So it's the square root of 5 minus 2 radical 5. We'll jump out of there, close it up, and hey, yeah, 36 degrees. That's very good. Okay, well, let's go back here for a moment. And instead of using that minus, let's delete that out and let's put a plus. And that's where we get uh, 72 degrees. So what we see also by solving this same problem now is that the tangent of 72 degrees will be the square root of 5 plus 2 radical 5. 
So by solving a single equation, we now have found two different exact values for tangent.